Guys, we might have a problem. <clears throat> we might have an issue. I think that I actually know. Is this somehow our base? Is this somehow just our base? I hope that it is. Oh, oh yeah, I didn't. <laughs> I have depth of field on. Uh, it's either that we got raided or I forgot to put down a bag in our vault shut. So, uh, yeah, that might be a problem, guys. That might be a problem. Because I swear that I remember uh, at the end of yesterday... I uh, did not have a bag inside my base or something. I was telling myself, don't put down a bag inside your base as soon as you get back, you know, and then, like, end it and whatever. Or actually, I think that it was in, like, the middle of the day. It was after I died. Uh, if you remember, it was actually, like, on, like, this rock. Or, like, there was an AK slash bolt guy on this rock, and I was trying to put down a barricade, and I died as I did it. Uh, I died in that situation, and I did not have a bag inside my base. So I couldn't respawn and come back. I spawned on, like, an outside bag, and I was like, okay, Dylan, you don't have a bag inside of your base. You picked it up because you placed down, like, a research table or tier 3, whatever the case was. I think that I honestly forgot to put down a bag. I don't think that we're raided. We could be. We might have got raided, and, like, our bag is just gone. Uh, or we forgot to put down a bag, which, uh, it's kind of annoying if we did. I'm over here. Here's our base. Yeah, we still have upkeep, dude. No... I'm hearing somebody over here next to me. Look at him. <laughs> uh, I don't think that we have a bag inside of our base. Like, there's no way that we do. We forgot to put one down or something. Fuck, man, that sucks. These mistakes happen sometimes, though, you know? It just sucks because I literally told myself yesterday in, like, the middle of the day when I didn't have a bag down to put one down, and I still didn't, you know? And, like, I did have a bag down inside my base, but again, I picked it up. And then I ended up going outside with it thinking, okay, like, I guess that this bag on me is from someone that I killed or something. I'm just going to put it down as, like, an outside bag. That's the one that we just now respawned on at, like, the very, very start. And then, again, like, when I died later throughout that day, you know, I was running back to my base from an outside bag. It was kind of a long run. Then I forgot to put myself down a new bag, and, yeah, we fucked up. We fucked up big time. I wonder if there's a way for us to get inside of our base, though. We could maybe get in. I mean, like, I learned Explosive Bullet, but we would have to find a Tier 3 and all that shit, though, dude. Ugh, fuck. I don't know what to really do about that, guys. I'm lost. We have a lot of shit inside of our base that we were going to be able to use today, you know? And now we just cannot get it. This is one of the cons about having a vault base. If you somehow, someway forget about putting a bag inside your shit... Which, like, I didn't really forget, like... I ended up picking it up for some reason, then forgetting to replace it down. That's really what happened. I'm just trying to think, like, is there a way that we can get in, like... I mean, if we can... Like, if we really want to go this far, guys, we can grind out, like, a bunch of scrap, right? Like, I'm talking 675 scrap. Buy four jackhammers. Actually, no, 650 scrap. Buy four jackhammers, get a tier one, upgrade a wall on our base inside the sheet, then just pick through the shit. I mean, we can do that, you know? We can. <laughs> I mean, that is probably the best way for us to do this shit, honestly. Either way, though, hopefully all of you guys are having a fantastic day. I just uh, got done running on the treadmill. I killed a spider. You guys can see the aftermath of that shit on Twitter if you guys want to. Basically, I just had to karate kick him, you know? I just had to hit him with the karate kick. What the hell is going on here? Dude, this shit is freshly decayed. I'm seeing, like, a thing right here. Well, I mean, we're just going to have to make, like, a small, like, 1 by 2 wood base and just hustle out 650 scrap which that's not gonna be hard man we can get that shit done easily within like three scrap runs yeah then i guess just buy a shit ton of jackhammers get a tier one get inside of our airlock place down the tier one and just fucking go ham on a sheet wall you know that's like our only option that's how you have to do this luckily our shit is not already upgraded to sheet at all it's upgraded to stone so <laughs> Yeah, we have to be thankful for that. That's nice. I'm going to go to make it back to my, my base, though, and just kind of come up with, like, a plan for us to do this. Because I still need to go shower right now, and then the actual session is going to start up. So, very, very beautiful, beautiful new day today, though. I'm fucking pumped up. And, uh, yeah, I'm ready for this shit. We had a small hiccup. Small hiccup, but at the same time, it's all going to be okay. Here, like, let's just get inside here. I might have upgraded some of these walls right here. Yeah, no, I didn't. Okay, so pretty much what we can do, we can put down a tier one here, and then we have four jackhammers on us pick this wall or uh upgrade this wall to sheet rotate it towards soft sides facing us and then pick through right that's like our only option here then you know the spam twig on my base just a classic classic thing around here and it's just been going on for a while we actually haven't done that to people but pretty much where that comes from to the new viewers that are watching uh a while back i was like you know, like, I was in, like, my fuck around time mode, right? And it's, like, anytime, like, a group or something would annoy me and I had nothing to fight back with, I would just go to their base and just spam twig on it just to annoy them. <laughs> that's, like, the only thing that you can do sometimes. I haven't done it for a long time, but, yeah, that's kind of where that whole thing comes from. So, occasionally, I get a viewer that finds my base and then just spam shit on it. Anyway, though, guys, I'm going to go ahead and just chill inside my airlock. Uh, and then I'm going to be back and then we're going to fucking go and just start grinding shit out. And I guess we can just put, like, a small box inside of here, right? 
just is like storage. You don't have to make like a one by two to work from. Because uh, the whole scrap thing is going to be really, really easy. We just need to make sure that we're making runs, not dying on runs and shit like that. But, you know, this this whole thing should be pretty easy. It's going to be a problem solved, guys. Don't worry. And guess what? You make these mistakes to not let them happen again. You know, that's just a life lesson, all right? You have to learn from these things. So, I'm going to go shower, then I'll be right back with you guys, and this grind begins, all right? And this beautiful day starts, all right? Let's go. Okay. We're now over here at uh, Mining Outpost, looting all the crates, because we got to get a shit ton of scrap. I thought I just now heard something over here. What the fuck did I just now hear? I swear that I just now heard some shit. Oh, nice. So, here a minute. Dude, mining outpost is nice now, man. I like this. Dude, like, there's a lot, lot more crates now. Let's go ahead and just start recycling everything here, though. Recycle all that. And then now, as that shit's recycling, we just gotta keep on hustling. Go over here as it's recycling and just keep on hitting more shit. Never mind, that pile just now disappeared. Okay, cool. But yeah, now like 650 scrap, we can probably get that in like 30 minutes tops. I'm not that worried about it. God, this thing is so loud. Oh, hello, BPs. See, like, this is a, this, like, that right there is why I don't hit barrels that often. I more or less just loot all the crates on the road because a lot of the time you don't even actually get components. You just get like a little bit of scrap. And see, we already have 100. We're already, you know, a sixth of the way done pretty much. Yeah, no, I'm not even going to bother looting barrels just because I don't really care. I'd rather just go along the road on this horse and just loot all these guys right here, you know? Like, boom, 25 scrap, just like that. Just go around quick and just loot, like, the good shit. The thing is, this makes me a bad person for leaving these other things. Dude, this base is still here, this, like, decayed base. Dude, honestly, it might be early enough to where no one has found, like, all, like, the good shit. Maybe all the good shit is, like, exposed and decayed now. Oh, my God, one minute. Dude, like, the fact that this thing is still here, there hasn't been, metal, like, metal in the TC for so, so long, and the doors are just still here. That's insane to me. Okay, how is this not gone? It's going so slow. <laughs> I'm so confused, dude. Yeah, like, this whole thing is gonna be really, really simple to do, in my opinion. Unless we're dying as we're out here getting the shit, that's gonna suck, but... Okay, don't even have to buy one of the jackhammers. The universe is just on our side today, okay. Not joking, I think that's, like, a 0.2% chance to get that shit. Back to back, imagine. I swear to God, guys. Okay. For some reason, I just, like, I felt like it was going to happen. I really, really did. Wow, though. Okay. Well, that means that we don't even have to get as much scrap as we were thinking. We have to get, like, 500 in total right now, I'm pretty sure. Got this crate right here. Boom, boom, boom. We now have a gun to to defend ourselves to an extent, which is cool, you know? The question is, are we going to actually, like, somehow, some way die with all this shit, you know? That's the question here. How much longer is the universe really going to be on our side? Be giving us all this shit, you know? That's where, like, that's where the true, like, question comes in. I'm probably gonna go to satellites to freaking, you know, get rid of, or uh, recycle all this different shit, though. Well, shit, man, this is gonna be easy. This honestly might be the only run that we really even, like, have to do. You have a horse, so I'm not joking. Just go, like, crate to crate like this and just loot like this, man. I don't know. It might seem, like, kind of fucked up, because then it's like, you know, but then other people that are looting doesn't, or, like, they don't get, like, the crates. They just get the barrels. Shit doesn't matter, man. It's it's survival of the fittest out here, alright? I'm seeing an airdrop over here on the ground. Here we fucking go with this weird-ass shit. Shit's gotta be empty, man. I'm just, or, uh, not empty. Shit's gotta be full of everything. I just, like, I'm getting the vibe. Can't fucking wait for wipe. Just give me, like, laptops and... Okay, what the fuck?! Holy shit! <laughs> well, we got a crazy-ass airdrop, that's for sure. Okay, let's go ahead and drop shit that we just, like, don't really need. Wow, man. Okay. Got that right there just for, like, some rad protection. Got, like, a flamethrower and shit. Shoddy trap C4 M39. Like, what? That's one of my better airdrops, like, in a long, long time. I don't even remember the last time that I even got a C4 from an airdrop, man. I've been praying for that shit in, like, different airdrops, but... Nice, we finally got hit with a good-ass airdrop, dude. Should be okay, we should be okay. Don't think negatively, Dylan. Come on, you got this. Just get in and out of here, just go. Okay, jump the fuck up. Got a crate that's, like, right here. Cool. Nice. Come over here, loot this guy. He has nothing, great. Now I'm hearing a satchel right over there that I could probably... Okay, now we get this. That we could probably, like, go counter and whatever. But I just don't really care to. Because, um... I mean, like, I just actually know. Fuck. Uh, 
Like, the slugs are cool, you know? It's like, fuck. Fuck the fire arrows. Dude, I would love to go counter. That could be a bunch of good shit for us, but it's just, like, really, really risky, dude. Like, super risky. But isn't that what this wipe is about, Dylan? Like, these last few days? I guess, dude. I guess. We have, like, we're literally full, dude. So it's just, like, not worth it. Right? I mean, come on. Okay, we need to freaking book it back home. And overall to like sats or something to like recycle all this shit because i feel like we actually have enough stuff on us to buy all the jackhammers now we should dude we have a lot of shit right now so i think that what i'm gonna do i'm gonna throw all my shit inside the recycler at uh freaking sats or like all like the stackable shit that's just gonna like take a while then i'm gonna go and uh, hit a little bit of wood get a small box placed down inside of my uh base and then go back and get all the shit and continue recycling everything else i'm actually just gonna get the shit for a small box just right now just cuz yeah, let's go and freaking put all this shit inside of a uh, freaking satellites, the recycler there. Take a quick drink of water. Mm. So fucking bomb, dude. I can't wait to make up some chicken later. Make some bomb ass pasta. Okay, we just now made it inside. Let's go ahead and put down like a small box here. <laughs> this is where we have to freaking put our shit at. See, someone asked me in my Discord, hey, Shots, can I say the N-word if I'm black? That's how I know that he's not black and he's just that dude that likes to, like, say the N-word. Time to ban him. Literally, previous seven days, ban. He's gone. He's out of there. Can I say the N-word if I'm black? I can prove it. Not about to go down that weird-ass road. Stop asking stupid-ass questions. And now he might think, dude, I didn't even break a rule that's on, like, the rule shit right there. I don't give a fuck. On the rules, it says I can ban you for anything that I want. Don't be dumb. He was being dumb, so. Like, we have one C4, like, oh my god. That's so, so sick. Can I say the N-word if I'm black? Smiley face? I can prove it. Like, that's some, like, weirdo-ass white teenager shit. Can you get the fuck out of my Discord with that weirdo-ass energy? Please. Just stop being that guy, that fucking weirdo-ass average white boy. Please. Plus, overall, like, with, like, that whole thing, some people might, might be thinking that, like, that's mean. Why are you tagging me with such dumb-ass questions? It literally says, don't be tagging people for, like, no reason. No excessive tagging and shit. That's exactly what he's doing. Okay, let's go ahead and put down this other box now and put this shit right here away. We can actually be outside with the, uh... I mean, no, I guess we can be outside with the M39 as well. I'm gonna just store the DB away, though, I guess. That shit sounded like it was, like, right on my freaking base just now. What the fuck? That literally sounds like it's, like, on my base. Okay, and I'm inside the wrong freaking thing. Is that not... Like, that's a little bit further back from my base, I'm pretty sure. At the same time, though, man, I don't know. We might be fucked, guys. <laughs> I mean, at least we have all this shit inside the airlock, though, I guess. Um, yeah, no, let's just go back, I guess, and see what's going on. I mean, we have an M39. We can slay some shit out, but, well, I mean, I only have 20 bullets. I left the other bullets inside there, I guess. That kind of sucks. I mean, the thing is, it was only four rockets. Okay, yeah, no, 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 yeah, no. It's definitely not me. It would sound way, way closer. We're all good. Okay, so 456 scraps, yeah, yeah, no. so we need 500 scrap in total, I'm pretty sure, right? Because we were needing 650, cut out one jackhammer because we already have one, we need 500, right? I think that I'm just going to take this out, do like, hopefully we don't die, well, I mean, it's like, did this really take us that long to get? Not really, we're going to be okay. Yeah, no, this right here should be pretty simple, four jackhammers is going to be nice for this, it should be very, very simple, especially just having a tier one literally right here touching us. Uh, but, you know, I guess let's go ahead and just leave with this, head toward outpost, get scrap along the way, and then get all the jackhammers, make a tier one, and yeah, you know. Okay, can you fall down? Yeah, let's get back inside this shit now. Alright, cool. Okay, we're now inside of outpost, though. Thank the lord. Now we're gonna go over here and recycle all of these things here, so we can get up to 500 plus scrap. Okay, 562 scrap. Cool. Well, that's that. I have all the scrap that we need already. Still early as shit in the day, which makes me happy. You know, like, it was kind of annoying getting, like, that minor setback due to a stupid mistake. But again, these mistakes teach us to check for our bag every single time that we literally get off now, you know? That's the bright side. And so, yeah, let's go ahead and just buy three of these. Only three, only three, because we only have one, you know? Or, uh, we already have one. So we don't even need to buy one, which is so legendary, by the way. That's just great. And then now, we are going to go over here, and we're going to buy... Fuck it, a thousand metal frags. Actually, no, 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 I'm, I'm stupid, guys. No, don't do that. Boom. Buy that right there. And then now, with this, we can make a tier one for repairing our jackhammers inside of our airlock. I know, guys. Guys, I know. I know. It's great. Okay, now we need to hopefully just make it back home with all this different shit. I don't think that it's going to be that hard of a thing, though. We should be solid. We should be golden right now. God, oh my god. Get me the hell away from here. Jesus. 
just convenient ass kids that are just right outside and shit charged up looking in a different direction they hear me they turn around and shoot at me I hate the convenientness of like when you just don't want to run into people finally doing you don't want to find people because you have all this shit on you now the world is just gonna be all around you you know everyone is just gonna be touching you hear a bolt over there you know it's just everything all right, and boom, there we go, guys. We're now back. Oh, my God. We got everything that we need. Okay, so let's go ahead and just take this door off of here because we can't fit a Tier 1 inside of there with a door, right? We have to just do this. So we're pretty much trapping ourselves in here. But pretty much what we do, we upgrade this to sheet, then rotate it, then we're picking it. So that's going to be a somewhat long process. Picking through sheet is very, very annoying. But as long as you have a workbench touching you like this where we can just, like, as soon as they all break, repair instantly. Like, we don't have to run 10 feet away to a workbench, then 10 feet back constantly. It can actually go pretty quickly. So I'm very, very grateful that we can actually do that. But, yeah, let's go ahead and do this shit, I guess, right now. Boom. Place down that shit, right? There might be kids that walk by that are going to be door camping us because they hear us in here and whatever. So, yeah. Um, just make sure. Is this one that I definitely want to go through? Yes. Now I rotate, and then there we go. Easy, right? I mean, come on, guys. I know, guys. I'm smart. I get it. Okay. Uh, I will see you guys in a little bit. Actually, no, no. Here, one minute. As we pick... We can actually just look through a little bit of comments right now, you know? Why not? Nasty play, Dylan, at 20 minutes, 43 seconds. That was on the de uh, Decay Loot Stealing Components in Tier 3 video. Thank you for that. I don't know, man. My, a lot of my plays could be way, way more crispy. I'm, like, off point a little bit right now, but I don't know. I'm just trying to, like, work on myself, you know? You feel me? Peace one comment, bro. Keep up the solo. It's funny as fuck. Thank you, buddy. I appreciate that. Dude, I really love how happy he was about the raid. And he commented that on the Dropbox bases uh, are the best to raid video. I don't know, man. Dropbox bases, that should just hype me up because, like, I'm always saying, dude, Dropbox bases are insane. Then we raid them, and they're actually, like, good, you know? They're not always packed full of only sulfur, but, like, they're packed full of, like, just good shit overall to make it, like, a good overall raid, which I like. Then I see someone else coming. Yeah, I love seeing you getting more aggressive and facing your fear of defeat. It's going to be fun to watch you play higher pop than usual and challenging more, yeah. Honestly, I'm excited to see people's thoughts on yesterday's video. That shit hasn't, and that shit hasn't came out for me because, again, I'm on, like, in the morning in the day that, that, that it, like, it's going to be coming out. But I'm excited to see people's thoughts on seeing me just, like, be aggressive as shit yesterday and just challenging people. Because, I mean, like, honestly, we won a lot of our fights. We were beating a lot of people. We didn't really get outplayed at, like, any moment, in my opinion. We, we fucked up and made, like, some small mistakes here and there that we should have... And, you know, like, as long as you acknowledge, like, your mistakes, then you can move on, right? Like, you don't just want to die constantly and not realize what you're doing wrong, because then you're not making any progress, right? But, I don't know. I feel like yesterday was a really, really good day. Although we might have taken a couple losses, one of them being, like, a more major loss, it really wasn't bad at all. I enjoyed yesterday. Please one comment, is Duo coming back soon? Love your videos. No, it is not. Not soon, no. Will it eventually come back? Yeah, most likely, obviously, but, I mean, like, I just now played a month of Duo before this season, you know, and I wasn't even planning on playing for that long. Like, I played for a month and a week, which I wasn't even planning to play for that week, and I wasn't even planning to play for that month. Now, some people are probably going to be like, why, man? It's fun. One, I just like the challenge of solo more. Two, I, I get to play on my own time, take breaks on my own time. And three, it's just more on me. I like the challenge of being solo and having to provide content in my videos for solo. I like, you know, I just like that. I don't know. I like to have full-on ownership of my videos, if that makes sense. I feel like that's a really, really important thing that a lot of people don't look at, but yeah. See someone comment, I already love you. That must have been his first video. Thank you, buddy. I appreciate you. There's been a lot of growth for us in this year of 2020. Like, just personal growth. The channel has grown too, but like, just personal growth, man. I'm really, really happy with, you know, where my mindset's at in 2020 right now. I'm happy with what I've built so far, like in my head. I'm becoming way, way smarter and just like learning how to act and just different shit like that. We're already at 200 though, man. Let's go. Nice. Here's one comment. 100k coming up quick. Yeah, I know. Yeah, no, I got like 3k subs in like the past month, which is pretty sick. Uh, if you guys are new to the channel, sub, you know, like if you guys are into the videos and you guys always click it because it's on your recommended because you're watching a lot and you're not subbed, you might as well just sub, you know, like why not? Then, well, I mean, if you actually want to go as far as getting notified, which I would only recommend that if you actually love the videos because, you know, me as a daily uploader. <laughs> The notifications daily might get kind of annoying if, like, you're not that into them, but um, getting notified as soon as they come out, if, like, you really, really like them that much, then, you know, do that shit. It's all up to you, though. We got the tour. Oh, my God. Holy shit, it's gone. We're in. Oh. Yep, no bag. No bag here. Okay, let's go ahead and get that shit down already, man. Holy shit. <laughs> That's just the first thing that we're just doing. I don't give a fuck, man. We're getting this shit down right away. I'm not forgetting. Well, there we go. That's that. 
Let's go ahead and take everything out of here and get everything kind of situated here. There we go. We now have our base back. I locked myself out of my vault today, guys. It's unreal. Oh, shit. Hello. I swear that I saw an AK in this guy's hands, but there's like no way it had to have been something else. That crossbow. That guy can come back and get his shit. And he was pretty much defenseless, you know, he just did not really have anything to really compete up against, man. This base right here, sheet door, code lock, wood floors, like... Someone's asleep in there. That's great. PC's right here with like some small boxes, a campfire, and whatever. That shit's probably not that good, honestly. It's probably just not. And I'm actually seeing some kids as well. They just now saw me. They just now saw me. Oh shit, dude. They oh my god. Okay, here a minute. We have to we have to get aggressive with them. Okay, let's just do this shit. How do you get aggressive right there with them? Don't shoot my horse. Thank you. I do appreciate that way. Okay, so which way am I going to go exactly right now? I guess just up this hill. One minute. Dip this way, dip this way. Okay. They're, they're probably just going to, like, they might be dumb enough to just think that I'm still just chilling behind that base, which is good for me, because right now I'm just flanking far, far around. I don't know. I just had to get aggressive as shit right there and just peek into them. Start getting a little bit of damage flowing in, you know? Now I'm flanking all the way down here. They're going to have no idea, like, where I went most likely. Like, they're probably not going to think, oh, dude, he's flanking down here by the river, 100% probably not what they're gonna think okay i'm gonna hope that one of them isn't like super super close right here and hears me on my horse they're because they're up here somewhere from my knowledge right now they just moved on with their day i'm pretty sure and just left because they saw me pull my horse back most likely so like they probably know that i'm gone and they're like i just ran away and whatever uh but that's not what i did i'm actually looking for them and now i need to try catching up to them because yeah i'm very very certain that they're gone they could be around any of these corners and we might just get killed but you know, we can't assume that that's what's happening. I'd love to actually fight those guys on, like, a real note. I'd love to fight them, but right there I was just, like, ranged out from the bolts and I needed to get way, way closer, in my opinion. Yeah, man, I don't know. I don't know where these guys went exactly. I wish that I could have fought those guys, man, but, like, I'm not going to run face first at just, like, bolts, you know? Like, there's just no point. I got some good damage in right there, but I don't know. My flank was too slow, I guess. See someone right now, and he has, like, a gun and shit. He may or may not have just now saw us. Oh no, this, wait no, is this where he lives? Wait. This guy looks like he has a semi, but only has a wetsuit on. Yeah, this right here is his horse. See this dude like jump around looking like this, fucking idiot. Sorry for getting a little bit toxic, calling him an idiot and whatever the case is, guys. I do apologize. He's probably talking in-game. I don't even know if I have voice on, but I'm just excited to just turn off the shit. And he did indeed have a semi. He did. And yeah, you know, just a bunch of good, sh just good stuff. Just some good, good loot, you know? Which is great, you know? Good loot is just fun. It's a fun, fun time. Dylan, be quiet when you die, by the way, today. Don't say a fucking word. <laughs> I'm serious though, Dylan. Don't say a word, alright? You need to train yourself to not instantly... Well, again, like, I don't think that I complain when I die. I more or less say what I could have done better and, like, what, like, really, like, went wrong in, like, a complainy fashion. That's what I do. Alright, so does a normal bed fit inside this shit? By the way, Dylan. Oh, nice, dude. It actually does. Heck yeah. I was gonna say, by the way, Dylan, put down <laughs> your bag if this doesn't fit, okay? But there we go, cool. And, like, we're just full, you know? Like, okay, Dylan, you need to lose stuff. You need to go out and fucking die on purpose to get room, okay? I just don't know, like, what the thing about, like, this base over here that's decaying, dude. Like, what the fuck? Well, I mean, like, we have some boom. We could maybe finish off this shit, dude. This could be something fun to raid, actually. It could actually, like, be good, you know? Like, we have a C4. We have 60 explosive bullets. Plus, we have explosive bullets. Learn if we really, like, want to go farm and whatever, but... I don't know, man. Like, there's still good shit here, I feel like. Dude, my gut tells me that there's, like, good shit inside this loot room inside, like, the bottom half of this shit. Unless everything was just, like, 
despawned by the guy or something, but I don't know. What's the window at? The window's at... Can't even see the window's durability. Actually, no. Yeah, 262 out of 500. That's what it's at. So that's like a C4 and like some explosibles, and that gives us TC, but then that doesn't give us what's underneath here, unfortunately, you know? So like our best bet would just be to like bring over explosibles and just splash the shit right there. That would be our absolute best bet to get everything that's actually good here. But yeah, man, I don't know. That could be something that we just do, man. Plus this, like, to anyone that's been watching the series, like, for the past few days, like, you know, we've been seeing this base every single day on this server so far. Past two days we've seen it, you know? And, uh, it would be cool to, you know, go along with, like, the storyline of that base and, you know, rate it and actually see what all the good shit is. I kind of like that. It's a good idea. Okay, where's all the people at out here? Where's the satchel raids at that I heard when I was fucking full M39 and all that shit, man? Where's the satchel raids at now that I'm actually out here? Where are they at? I need them. I need them in my life right now. I'm so, so fucking ready to counter. I actually might go over there in that area that that satchel raid was going down at when we heard it. And just see if, like, maybe he's still there. I mean, he might be jackhammering shit. Okay, now I just don't heard an LR over here. That's beautiful. That's wonderful to hear. Thing is, I'm looking in this direction and a part of me just... <gasps> Wait. Yeah, yeah, no, no, I'm seeing a geared guy crouch around right now. Is there someone that's, like, right there? There's a guy that's right there, and there's a guy that's, like, right here in front of us somewhere. From what I know, he's just crouching around, like, the rock area here. Like, like there might be a raid that's about to go down, or maybe it's just, like, a fight. He could be touching me, and he might... Jesus, and he might just get the jump on me. That was a turret that just now shot, from my knowledge. Just now freaking ran into a cactus. Okay, here we go. That guy's dead. Lucky uh, positioning on my part. I saw the sky behind him. Could be a guy right here. I'm reloading now. One minute. Got the turret over there, obviously. Okay. I don't know. Like, I just feel like there's more people around here, bro. That's just like how I feel. Or maybe we're it. Maybe we're the only fucking people. Right there was like a really, really passive situation though. Really, really passive. Which I feel like I'm like forced to be like that when it's nighttime and shit. And you know, like, we're committing. That's the bright side here. We are committing to like the fight and whatever, but. Trying my best to dip. The sky's above me, though, from anyone that's below me, so they can just see me run away right now. Now we're on, like, more flat ground, which is really, really good. That's big for us. Yeah, I think that we're all good. At least, I think. Turn off our flashlight. Stop exposing where we are to people that are around us. I just feel, or, like, I don't know. Like, as, like, I'm over there running around and shit, I definitely just feel the need to be shining my shit around and just making sure that there's not someone touching me that's about to kill me type of thing, you know? <clears throat> I don't really know what that situation was. Like, I see a light on inside that base. There's actually a mini copter over there, and we have low grade, but... Sorry, guys, I'm way, way too pussy to go and just take that shit as there's just, like, that weird energy over there. Like, there's just people around. Like, fuck that. You joking? I'm getting on my fucking horse and I'm leaving. And honestly, the minicopter just doesn't really serve that much of a purpose for me. I just don't really care about it in the first place, so. Got an L9 right there, though, which is pretty sick. 8X on it. I'm just gonna drop the shit, I guess. I just don't really care. I mean, I'll keep it, I guess, but... Yeah. Cool, though, I guess. Cool. I mean, I don't know. A lot of that right there was, like, lucky positioning on my part. Like, people are shooting. Full metal guy next to me thinks that he's alone, doesn't know that I'm nearby. I get the jump on him. He obviously dies. Then he had, like, a teammate, I think, from my knowledge, it looked like. And then I just barely saw his head poking up with the night sky behind him. That gave me the jump on him. He's probably like, how does he even see me? Did or do, whatever, without even turn or, uh, turning on a flashlight. Which I did turn on my flashlight, even though it didn't reach to him, but... Yeah, very, very lucky positioning and shot on our part, man. Four stacks of ammo right there, dude. That's really, really sick. A couple... 
three metal face masks, con considering that, that we went there with a hazmat. That's not bad. Wasn't really the craziest, like, you know, you know, like, skillful fight, but I'll take it. See, and, like, that right there is where being a solo, like, is helpful, because, like, if you're just, like, patient, just, like, crouching around lurking and shit, like, the, the number one role as a solo, like, whether if, like, we're looking at me being more aggressive or not, like, you're just the lurker. Like, you just lurk around and do shit, right? Like, that's just what it is. That's, like, that play style is, like, within all solo players. All solo players lurk. It doesn't matter who the fuck you are, right? You lurk at some point, and then, like, you know, then you just, like, get the jump on kids and slaughter out teams like that to, like, you know, get the shit done. Like, I don't know. Now we should definitely go out AK, though. No question. I'm seeing kids with flashlights on here right now, so that's nice. I don't know how many kids are actually going to be here. Like, if it's only going to be, like, one set of dudes or, like... Multiple, like, I don't really know what's going to be happening here. I'm getting inside the tunnel system inside my rat hole, okay, guys? You hear me? <laughs> the freaking spot, dude. Is this shit going to unlock when it's pitch black, though? That's what I don't prefer. I want to be able to see shit. Because there could be so many people lurking when it's just pitch black nighttime. Dude, I still hate that this is actually, like, a nighttime in this game. Oh, okay, someone's inside, like, this main tower. Oh, shit. Hello. Uh, oh, excuse me. Yeah, this guy has flashlight on coming down the stairs. This dude is a moron. He's literally just like broadcasting. Hey, this is where I am. Come kill me. I'm right here, guys. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, I'm in here. He's running or some shit. I don't even like really know what's going on. One minute here. His teammate's down. His teammate might try to pick him up. Whatever. One minute. We were close to being able to kill both of them, but my flashlight range didn't reach the other guy, sadly. His teammate might have just ran with all the shit, by the way. One of them might just have, like, all the good shit, unfortunately. Yeah, this guy's still, like, right here. I only downed his teammate, so his teammate can still get picked up in whatever the case is. Come on, give me better daytime right now, game. Give me this shit. Yes, there's one right here. Is that it, though? Like, is his teammate dead? I guess. Maybe. Like, I don't know for sure. I need this shit to become better day. It's still dark as shit, dude. Like, in, just in, like, certain spots, it's still dark. Right? So... One minute. Alright, let's go ahead and just chill for a second. Let's just chill. Just chill. I think there's still one more guy, though. From my knowledge, I think there's still one more. I mean, his hazmat teammate is dead. I don't know. Maybe that's it, dude. Maybe that's it. I mean, we have to assume that, that it's it at some point, you know? Like... Can't just sit here and just not do shit. Yeah, let's just dip right now, I guess. Try our best to just get out of here, my god. I don't know, I was like a little bit too passive right there, I feel like. A little bit too passive. I was overthinking it. For some reason, I thought that there was two, not one. Like, I thought that I heard, like, two different people in two different spots. I th I, like, I thought that I heard someone by the broken down building behind the wall right there. And then I heard someone, like, right after near, like, the guard shack. So I was like, okay, there's, like, two of them. Like, what the fuck? Like, I need to, like, see some more shit right now. You know, to, like, be able to commit on this shit. Okay, cool. Let's go outside and just keep on roaming around and, yeah. This is literally just like a PvP base, just like full of just gear, man. Because that's our only focus. Nothing else is, so. That's like all that we got inside this shit, man. Someone raids us. I mean, like, they're getting a C4 and like 60 explosive bullets, which this overall is a raid. Like, two C4ing inside. Really, really worth it. It's going to be a good raid, you know, and I cannot decline that. Today's been like a decent day, though, man. I've enjoyed it. There hasn't really been as much action as yesterday, and I don't know. It kind of sucks because I'm getting off in like 
literally like 30 minutes because I, you know, want to go and get food with my mom and whatever the case is. But I'm trying to make this session a little bit better by going out and finding some more people right now. So hopefully the universe is on our side and feeds us with those people, you know. And if not, it's all good. Tomorrow's another new day. There's actually a black horse over here. Cool. Let's go. And I'm actually seeing a hazmat guy to my left. Holy shit, dude. We got action, guys. We got action. Oh my goodness, there's no way. Pretty sure that's just your basic hazmat semi type of guy, but uh, that's fine. That's A-OK -okay with me. I'm fine with killing that guy, even though, you know, his shit doesn't really matter a whole lot. I just need to, like, get my AK spray on point. That's what I'm focused on at this point. Let's just spray at him from afar just for fun, okay? Please don't tell me that he's running more to the left right now and that I'm going to just, like, run right up on him. That's going to suck a dick if I am. Oh, no. I think that he lives right here. Yeah, like, he lives right here, unless he's, like, stopped here checking out this base, but... I don't think that's what he's... Yeah, no, he lives right there or something. Fuck, dude! Like, I don't want to camp outside of this dude's base! That freaking sucks! So much for, our, you know, our action, the universe just now baited us. They were like, here, Dylan, I'm gonna give you some instant action. Just joking, Just joking. Now, if you want to kill him, you have to door camp him like a scumbag, and yeah, no thank you. Maybe if he kills me, then I'll door camp him, but I don't like door camping without reason. Put yourself at a better spot in the fight. Oh shit, oh my god, I'm joking, it's a scientist, you morons. Calm down. Yeah, I'm sorry for calling you guys morons, I shouldn't have said that. I'm seeing some shit over here, ignore the Nazi symbol. Okay, what is- There's so many freaking what's it called here. I'm seeing a tier 3 here as well, which I'm kind of interested in. What the fuck? Yeah, no, like, this shit's too close to this base right here for it to, uh... I mean, the TC... Is the armor decaying? It's not. This TC could be worth raiding. You know, yeah, yeah, here. Honestly, just to end it off, we can freaking raid this shit with a flamethrower. That's what we can do right now. Yeah, ignore this shit. Literally, like, like Nazi symbol. Like, I don't know exactly what it rep like. It represents the Nazis, like the Nazi symbol, right? But I don't know. When I was younger, I'm just gonna keep it real with you guys. I used to put that shit on signs in this game. I'm like, I don't even know why. Like, I grew out of that shit, and like, you know, like I'll never do that shit ever again, just because I'm like. You know, like, more grown now, I'm 85 years old, but, like... I mean, honestly, compared to a lot of other shit in the world, that shit really does, you know, doesn't really bother me seeing that. I mean, overall, letting it bother you is just not good, no matter what it is on a sign, but... Compared to, like, you know, the hard R, like, fucking dicks and shit jizzing, like, all, like, that crazy shit, like, that's what's usually on signs in this game. <laughs> not to get a little bit graphical with you guys saying that shit, but, yeah... That's not the worst thing to see in the game, I guess. It's not good. It's not a good thing to see, but there's much, much worse. Oh, shit. Here's our guy. Well, perfect timing, man. He came out at, like, the best time. All right, here we go. I feel so bad for this dude. That just now came out of nowhere for that guy, you know? Now he's going to respawn. He's going to come out of this base right here, then I'm going to kill him again. You know? Like, one minute. Did not F1 kill, so I don't take him as a competitive player. I don't think that he's going to come out with anything. He's going to come out naked. That's bold of you to just assume, Dylan, guys. I just know how players in this game work. If they get killed, the ones who insta-respawn are the ones that are going to be trying to kill you as soon as possible. The ones who don't are the weirdos that talk in game saying, No, dude, what was that for? And then they just come out naked just to, like, look at you in a weird way. All right, here a minute. Let's go ahead and do this. Take that, I'm happy with that. 53 high call, that was 100% worth it just now. Oh shit, dude, there's like a room here. Oh shit! Dude, there's probably stuff underneath this, like inside of the actual room, dude. That could be big, but... I don't know, like, I know that there's a turret right there, so there's probably like one more box that's like right there, but... I'm not that worried about it. Either way, though, guys, it's almost 12.30. I don't want to get off at exactly at the time that my mom's going to be here to pick me up. So I'm going to go ahead and get off right now, prep up for, a for like 15 minutes, maybe look at some comments, get ready to leave with my mom and go and, uh, you know, spend some quality time with her, eat some food, talk to each other, whatever. And uh, I will see you guys tomorrow for a brand, brand new day, okay? Um, I appreciate all of you guys coming by, showing your love every single day. You know, the channel's been growing a little bit quicker recently, although I don't try to focus on analytics. When, I'm, like, when my channel boosts up, I don't let myself, or like, I don't let that shit dictate my happiness, if that makes sense. Like, literally, like, when my channel starts to slow down 10k views a video instead of the 20k that I'm starting to get now, like, I just don't let it phase me because I treat both of them the same. I don't treat one better than the other, right? 
And that's kind of like what it, like what it comes down to with positive and negative comments, right? Like the the negative ones will annoy you if you overvalue the positive ones. But it's like in a way like you're you know, like, I'm not saying fuck the positive comments are as bad as the negative ones. It's like, you have to look at them as like, okay, you're being negative, cool, you're being positive, cool. Like, you just need to, like, not care, right? Um, they just have, like, that balance just so, like, it doesn't mentally stress you out when these things happen. Whether if it's, like, your view count drops, like, when you have a low view count compared to a high view count, whether if you're streaming, uploading, whatever, likes on Instagram are lower than usual, like, you have to be treating them all the same and just be working on yourself, uh, mentally the entire time, you know? Like, that's all that, uh, you can really do, because... You know, there's no point to stress you out over numbers that you really can't control and honestly just always be trying harder just be mastering yourself master your energy ma ma uh, master your craft all that good shit and uh, yeah overall I will see you guys tomorrow for a brand brand new day as I already said you guys have a good rest of uh, your guys's day slash night and uh, comment 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 940 if you guys made it here to the end okay that's the guy that we just now killed unreal yeah, comment 940 if you guys made it here to the end because we have a 940 stone right here, plus the 2k, but uh, yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace out. Dear.